Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. You know, back to school shopping can easily break the bank, but it doesn't have to. If you still have last minute shopping to do, our next guest has got you covered. Please welcome back our financial expert, Janai Thornton. Hi there. How are you? We're looking good, pretty in pink. I know. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, so a lot of our children are back to school, yes. but on all different levels. We want to go to college right now. Right. Uh, let's talk about college textbooks. Why Ooh. do books cost so much? I know. Yes, they cost so much. But what a lot of people don't realize, you can actually use a price comparison website. Okay. So that way, you, if you have the ISBN number or the title of the book, you can search over 50 vendors at one time. Oh, my goodness. So booksprice.com or TechSurf, that way you can get through that list. Mm -hmm. And also we got slugbooks.com as well. Well, people don't realize you can buy, sell, and even rent textbooks from Amazon. You can? You can rent textbooks from Amazon. So Amazon, Chegg. Um, eBay are great places to buy, sell, and even rent textbooks. That's, that's crazy that I don't... That's okay, that's good. That's why you're here. You're telling us all of the information. And it's funny how some yes. colleges are still relying on books. A lot of things are online now, but this is still in the time where we still have books for, for college. Uh -huh. So it's, it's very important. It's a huge money maker, but again, there's tons of ways to save money and just rent those books and send them back when you're done. Yes. Okay, so school supplies. This is a big deal. And my daughter and I, I mean, they love to go and do this together, but you but, say stick to the list. Um, you definitely have to stick to the list. So all teachers are going to post those lists. Yes. So you want to start with the list first, and then you want to search your house first. Mm. Why we run into the store? You know their rooms are full of stuff. Yes. We have those junk drawers full of stuff. <laughs> I know it. Right. <laughs> so you definitely want to start with that. Mm -hmm. And then you also want to definitely follow your favorite retailers on social media and download their apps too because they're pushing out coupons and notifications. Yes. So you can definitely do that. And don't forget about like Groupon or Retail Me Not. Great ways to get additional discounts. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. So you can't of course, it's, it's all about the clothes. And if, if you're uniform clothes oh or if you don't have a uniform school, tell us how can we save money in that area? You know, this is where we spend all the money is on clothes, especially with you having those girls. Yes, yeah, they yes. want so much. But, you know, you have to have a budget and a list. You know, you got to go to the store already focused. Right. Yeah. And another thing, too, is, you know, the summer clothes are out now, mm -hmm. but the fall clothes are out too. Yes. So this is really the best time to buy summer clothes, but you really want to hold on fall clothes to September or October because okay. they're going to actually go on sale then. You know, another thing that a lot of parents do, especially at private schools that are uniform or just yeah. any uniform schools, those schools actually have like consignment sales Absolutely. that parents can take advantage of as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. You definitely want to take advantage of that. But again, follow your favorite retailers. They are posting coupons and discounts. You definitely want to take advantage of those. Okay, all right. So what about cool gadgets and all of that good stuff? Yes, there we go. Cool gadgets. Okay, so you know, you want to use technology to save money on technology. Okay. And so what I mean by that, particularly if you're like an Amazon shopper. Yes, no, I am. I, <laughs> I am too. Yes. Love them. But they have a great website. It's called Camel Camel Camel. Okay. And so if you're tracking a particular item, like a Chromebook or an iPad, you can put that item in and Camel 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 will notify you when that item is actually going on sale. Okay. So it helps you time when to buy things. Uh-huh. Yep, and it also lets you know the price that they're offering, is this really the best price that they've ever offered? Okay. So use technology, use Camel Camel. You want to use something called Shop Savvy when you're in the store. It's a barcode. You can scan the actual barcodes mm -hmm. and see if another store has that same item at a cheaper price. Okay. Yeah. But get your kids involved. Let them help you do this. They can figure out everything else. They can also help us save money, too. Okay. Okay. So, like, as, 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 as parents uh, going into this new school year, I mean, we're yeah. going to go off right. a little bit. How can we start teaching our children how to budget? Well, you know, the thing about kids is we really don't give them a seat at the table. Yes. Yeah, so if you, the earlier you involve them, they have figured out so much. They can master money really, really early. Mm -hmm. So you want to, you don't have to take it over. Allow them to do the comparison shopping. Okay, okay. Hey, mom, we should go to this store versus over here. These items are on sale over here. Allow them to help you put the plan together. Okay. And get them ready to help you go into the store or online. Yeah. But they are more than equipped. You know, your children can use technology better than you can. And I guess they, I mean, she <laughs> sh Bailey shows me everything. I don't, I'm like, I don't know how to do any of this. Uh, but they can shop too, though. Okay. So let's empower them them to get them involved in the process and allow them to help us get the budget together and also stay on budget okay. too. Okay. So do you, are you more, uh, I guess, more apt to, 
I guess I want your personal opinion. Right. Amazon shopping or store shopping, or do you do a little bit of both? Uh, I just can't handle the stores. Okay. So I think it's more about your personality uh -huh. and your preference. Okay. I'd rather just let the boxes arrive. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I can't take that stress of the decision making. And I don't want to debate with my children either. Okay. Let's get on the same page about what we're going to order. Uh -huh. And then we're done. I don't want to be in the store having those conversations. Yes. So I think it's more about your personality. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and, and in those moments, how is it a teachable moment for money? Well, for children. I think that's why you need the agreement before you even go to the store. Gotcha. Yeah. These are the items that we are going to agree to splurge on. Okay. These are the, this is the budget that we committed that we were going to stick to. Yes. So that's why our children can be really smart to learn how to comparison shop so they can get more out of the money that mm -hmm. you've allocated. You can't take them to the store and just say, hey, just get what you want. It doesn't work that See, way. See, I splurged on the book bag this year. Okay. <laughs> I went down to the Pottery Barn. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it because I heard that they last a long time because my sister-in-law had one. So that was the one thing I splurged on. Right. Everything else was $10 and below. Right. Yes. See? see. <laughs> <laughs> One or two splurge items yes. and everyone's good and ready for back to school. Uh, awesome. Well, we are ready for back to school now. We're going to save money. We're a comparison shop. And for those parents whose children are still, you know, waiting for that first day of school, you've got more time to yeah. save money. Thank you so much. You're oh, always amazing. Happy to be here. Love it, love it, love it. For more information on all those back to school tips, make sure you follow us on Sister Circle and all of our social media platforms.